So I'm going to talk about some explicit geometry of uh, Ogradi's examples. So let me first review some basic notion of, I mean, basic stuff about Ogradi's exam examples. So let S be a K3 or an Abelian surface with uh, Picard number one, and H is ample generator of uh, neuron severi lattice. And then, as usual, we, we consider the uh, Mukai lattice H tilde, and take Mukai vector V from the uh, Mukai lattice. And then, uh, I mean, I'm, uh, from as usual from usual procedure, we, we get the uh, moderate space of H, H semi-stable coherent sieves on S with this uh, Mukai vector V. And uh, what Ogrady considered is uh, uh, the, the Mukai vector 2, 0, minus 2, as in, as in the talk of uh, Professor Markshevich. And uh, then Ogrady managed to prove that uh, uh, this is, ah, by the way, this uh, semi-stable modularized space is singular, and we, we denote, denote it by, simply by M then this singular moduli space have a symplectic resolution. So this is uh, quite important theorem. I mean, the first important theorem. And the second, uh, later, I mean, Len and Zoga pro proved that this resolution is nothing but uh, blowing up along the singular locus of uh, the moduli space, M. So, so in, in this sense, the, uh, the, the resolution of, uh, I mean, Ogradi's resolution the structure of Ogradi's resolution is, I mean, fully understood. And uh, so here, here, from this theorem, Ogradi constructed two examples of uh, irreducible symplectic variety. So one is the case of K3 surface. Then uh, the, the, the resolved moduli space M tilde itself is an irreducible symplectic variety of dimension 10. And if S is an abelian surface, and I, I denote it by A, uh, because of some kind of psychological reasons, and uh, and then then M itself is not irreducible. I mean, M tilde is not not uh, irreducible, and uh, so th this should be M tilde, I guess. I mean, this this is M, yeah. And then consider the Albanese morphism on the on the moduli space, and the Albanese variety is uh, the product of A and its dual, and the co and the, the uh, yeah. And this this morphism is defined by this uh, I mean topological data of the bundle I mean the, the coherence if E, and then consider the fiber of Albanese morphism. And I mean this this is somehow wrong. So the the resolution I mean strict transform of this thing on on, on M tilde is irreducible symplectic manifold. So these are Ogladi's examples. So and next, I, I I would like to explain a little bit about the uh, Snellson Ullenberg compactification. So in general, if you have a, a smooth surface, smooth projective surface, and then uh, some uh, numerical invariant, then uh, you you can construct some projective variety called Snellson Ullenberg compactification of the stable modular space. And uh, moreover, there exists some uh, proper morphism from the uh, uh, Giseka stable moduli space to this Donaldson Ullenberg compactification. This is very basic stuff. And what is the uh, uh, structure of this uh, morphism? So first of all, this uh, morphism phi is isomorphism on the locus of uh, uh, mu stable locally free sieves. So this this is a uh, uh, very important property. So, th so in that. Yeah, th so this is ki kind of gauge theoretic compacti compactification of uh, new stable locally free sieves. And, uh, and if the sieve in the modular space M is not, not locally free, then since we are working on uh, a smooth surface, we can embed E into some bundle, which is uh, uh, the uh, WL of uh, this uh, coherent sieve E. And uh, this this double dial sh should be uh, mu semi-stable, and uh, again by the fact that S is surface, the, the quotient is just a uh, uh, zero-dimensional Altinian module. So this is quite fundamental sequence, 
And uh, for, for these two uh, objects, we, we associate some topological invariant, namely to the WGL of E, uh, we can associate its uh, mu stable Jordan Helder factors. And, and then this Altinium module QE, we can associate its, uh, I mean, we, one can associate naturally uh, the cycle corresponding to this uh, module. So we denote it by C of QE. It's better to permute double, uh, double star and grade it. First they grade it and then double star. Yeah. Right, because uh, even if E is locally free, uh, mm -hmm. the graded uh, object of the Jordan codification may be non locally free. Yeah, but somehow, <coughs> yes. Well, but it's it's yeah. So so yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's it's it. it, it I, I think it's a matter of uh, definition. So I I I mean, Jordan fit mu Jordan Felder factors with with respect to the slope is by definition the line bundles. Because you work on rank two. Uh, uh, no, uh, even if he is. Uh, even if he is uh, a locally free, Jordan filtration may be non locally free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you have your uh, permute uh, double no. stubborn grade. No. I think the point is that you know, whenever you talk about these new state stuff and modular space of them, you better work in the, in the quotient category modular stuff in co dimension 2, mm -hmm. and then you don't see the effect. Yeah, but then you lose the length of the scheme. No, no, that's why you separate the first. <laughs> then you separate that's the reason why you separate Yeah, it. so we, we want to know about the line bundle factor of this W, anyway. And uh, this uh, uh, morphism phi is just uh, uh, this, uh, given by this correspondence, namely the, for the, this uh, Jordan Felder factors for WGL and associated cycle of uh, the quotient. Then uh, let's look at the case of uh, Ogradi's moduli space. And this corresponds, yeah, and uh, let S be a abelian surface. So this, this corresponds to this, this uh, topological, I mean, numerical invariant. Then uh, it is easy, quite easy to uh, see that the uh, Stable locally free sieve is always mu stable in this case, and uh, if it is not locally free, then we have this fundamental sequence. And Dograd proved that the uh, W gl of E is uh, always an extension of two numerically trivial line bundles on A, and of course uh, by, by 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 this equation, the length of uh, the quotient is two. And uh, moreover, if uh, this E is strictly semi-stable, then it's direct sum of uh, of uh, this, this, I mean, sieves of this form. I mean, MP1 is uh, maximal ideal corresponding to, the, to some point on A, and L is again uh, numerically trivial line bundle. And so, so from these three observations, uh, we know that the morphism phi is, is actually an Bilational morphism, yeah, because this is isomorphism on stable locally free locus, and uh, the, the exceptional set should be the locus of non locally free sieves. Yeah, and uh, what is the uh, restriction of uh, of this morphism phi to this subvariety B M? And, and this this correspondence is given by by this. So this is. Uh, uh, same thing as the graded Jordan Helder fact. I mean, direct sum of uh, Jordan Helder factors of uh, WGL and, and uh, the associated cycle. And uh, these things lives in this sym symmetric product of A and A hat. Okay. Then we want to restrict everything to the uh, Albanese fiber of uh, the origin of this uh, product. A very variety. So, just we take the image of x. I mean, the x is the Albanese fiber in, in M. M is M was the singular moduli space, and take image uh, in, in inside of M du. 
So this is uh, x du, and uh, restrict everything to x, namely b is the restriction of uh, 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 non-locally free low cost x, and sigma to be the uh, restriction of strictly semi-stable sieves to x, and denote the, the restriction of this morphism phi to be uh, by phi b. Then uh, again, this uh, restriction to x is birational, and the, the uh, exceptional set b is uh, is uh, is uh, yeah the exceptional set is this locally free locus b. Yeah, and uh, and then take uh, m non -lo I mean e from m non locally free. Then uh, as, as as before, we have uh, these uh, topological topological invariant, and uh, for, for this E, uh, the, what is the uh, value of al Albanese morphism? So it is easy to calculate the, uh, al I mean the value of Albanese morphism. So first factor was uh, determinant line bundle of E, so this is nothing but this thing. And the second is the, uh, I, mean, I mean, topological second chunk class of E. So this is nothing but uh, this cycle. So it is e quite easy to calculate the uh, value of Albanese morphism. Then uh, the, the, the image of uh, the subvariety V under the, under the morphism phi is, is the, of this form. Because uh, uh, if E lies on X, then uh, these, these two factors should be zero. So that means L1 and L2 are inverse to, the, to, uh, to each other. And P1 and P2 is also inverse to the to the to the to each other. So, so, so the image should should lie on on the image of anti-diagonal anti of all these two factors. So that means uh, uh, phi of B is of this form. Okay. Then, uh, so here comes the the question of, of this talk. So the fundamental problem I want to study is that the, is the following. So what does the non-locally free locus B look like? And actually, O'Grady already co considered this problem, I mean, question partially. And he proved that the general fiber of uh, this thing, the, the restriction of phi to B, is just the project line. And, and from this, you, you, I mean, we can easily see that B is prime divisor on X. And uh, why, why he, he considered this kind of uh, problem? So his motivation was quite clear. So he wanted to calculate second bet number of uh, the example he constructed. And in the course of uh, the proof of the, uh, I, mean, I mean, calculation of uh, second bet number, he used this kind of information uh, to determine, I mean, in, in to, to, to apply some topological argument to, to, the, to the example. And actually, later, uh, Rapanietta continued the, 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 the line of argument of Ogradi and proved that, uh, I mean, calculate the uh, boville bogomolov form on, the, on, the, on these examples. And the result is something like this. And here appeared, appeared the, the, the exceptional divisor sigma tilde of uh, Ogradi's resolution and strict transform of uh, the non-locally free locus on X tilde. So, so, so already fr from this formula, it, I mean, it, 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 I mean, the importance of the, this divisor uh, should be understood. And here, today I want to argue some, some application to birational geometry of, uh, of the uh, six-dimensional Ogradi's example, x tilde. OK. So then uh, here comes the theorem. So let phi, so, so recall that phi is the uh, morphism from singular x to the uh, donaldson ulenbeck compactification. And uh, this is the, the restriction of uh, uh, the, f the morphism phi to the divisor of uh, non-locally free locus B, and the image is of this form. 
So then uh, we, we take uh, this topological invariant ln p from here and consider the, the reduced uh, fiber over this uh, point, gamma. Then uh, we have a complete dis description of the fiber of this uh, morphism. So, so first, if uh, n neither L nor P is uh, two torsion, then this is that the fiber is just P1. So this is the uh, reproduction of uh, Ogradi's calculation. And uh, the, the second and third is new. The second, we consider the case exactly one of L or P is two torsion. Then the fiber is uh, just P2. And if both both of them are two torsion, then uh, fiber is a uh, cone of a smooth quadric surface in P4. This is threefold. Yeah. And, uh, and for the proof, we, we use uh, some Kriva variety like description of this fiber V gamma. And uh, using this model, we, we, we calculate the uh, corresponding uh, invariant ring quite ex explicitly using classical invariant theory. So I will uh, explain this later. So, the, the, the so let me explain first about the application to bilateral geometry. So we have a singular, mod I mean, Albanese fiber of singular modular space here. And this is uh, uh, Ogradi's resolution. So this is irreducible symplectic manifold of dimension 6. And on the other hand, we have uh, the bilateral morphism to donaldson ullenberg compactif compactification here. So we have this diagram. And let V tilde be the strict transform of uh, non-locally free locus on, on X tilde. Then uh, using the, the previous theorem, one can show that, show that the, there exists some bilateral contraction from X tilde to some variety over over relative to uh, XDU, Donaldson compactification, such that, uh, that this uh, contraction F is the, uh, exactly the contraction of uh, the strict, tr tr strict transform of the non-locally free locus P tilde. And, uh, and moreover, we, we know that uh, the restriction of this contraction to, to, the, to the exceptional device B tilde is just P1 bundle. And if we, once you, you know the this, uh, existence of F and uh, these two things, then the re remaining part is, uh, I mean, kind of automatic. So the image of, uh, I mean, center of this contraction is just the product of these Kuma varieties. And uh, the, the, this center is, is nothing but the singular locus of X prime, and uh, which is Locally, locally trivial family of A1 singularities. So in, in that sense, this X prime is have, have uh, better singularity than X. Yeah. And uh, this theorem, I mean, explains everything about the uh, uh, bilateral geometry of X tilde over X du, because this is divisorial, divisorial contraction here. So, so no, no more bilateral morphism over X D U can happen over X t on, on X tilde. So this is kind of complete uh, uh, description of the, the bilateral geometry. And here, this one, this one. X tilde over X D U. X tilde over X D U. Yeah, the, yeah, it's it's it, it, that depends on the, the on gamma. Uh, I, I, yeah, this described before. Yeah, and this is uh, why this is the uh, an, ap an application of the previous theorem because I mean, as I explained, this Ogradi's resolution was is uh, is uh, just grew up of uh, the locus of semi uh, strictly semi-stable sieves. So if we can uh, calculate the intersection, scheme theoretic intersection, this one, then uh, we can, hopefully we can calculate the blow up of B gamma by this idea. Then, uh, then we, we somehow we, 
yes, we, we uh, uh, describe every fiber of uh, the morphism from x tilde to x du, as, as you asked. So, so then we can determine the various geometry. So I, I will explain this, this thing later. OK, so th these two theorems are the main theorem of this talk. And uh, in, the, in the proof, I, I use some Fourier Mukai type symmetry. I mean, this is a quite elementary thing, but uh, so, yeah, let me explain about this thing. So, let A be an abelian surface as uh, before, and A hat is dual, and consider the Poincare line band on, on the product. And then we can, uh, uh, I mean, uh, define the uh, Fourier Mukai functor as usual way. And moreover, we, we, we consider the dualizing functor here and then compose with this uh, Fourier Mukai functor. So we get this uh, contravariant uh, exact functor between uh, these triangulated categories. So we, we denote it by phi d. So, and similarly, we can define its quasi inverse in, uh, in, the, in the very same way. So here comes uh, a very elementary observation. So this phi d induces one-to-one -one correspondence between the set of uh, n-step extension of uh, numerically trivial line bundles on the abelian surface A and the set of uh, Altinian module of length n uh, on, the, on the dual abelian surface. So th this is more or less the definition of Poincaré line bundle. So this is the first uh, elementary but important observation. And the second is that uh, if you look at the uh, corresponding uh, homomorphism between Mukai lattices of A and A hat induced by this kernel, then, then if A, the neuron severity group of A is generated by an ample divisor H, then the dual have also pical number one, and the neuron severity group is generated by the determinant line bundle of uh, the, the, the transform of this ample line bundle by, by this uh, transform phi d. So this is, this is again, uh, I mean, elementary but important. So then uh, what happens on the, on the modular space, I mean, over the singular modular space? So, under the same notation as uh, before, we consider two modular space on, on, the, on the original abelian surface A and also on A hat. So these are singular modular spaces. Then uh, the first assertion is that uh, the uh, dualized fully Mukai functor uh, induces an isomorphism between these two modular spaces M and M hat. And, uh, uh, moreover, this commute with Albanese morphism of them. And this, this beta is just the ex exchange of these two factors. And uh, if we restrict this isomorphism alpha to non-locally free locus, then it is preserved by, by alpha. And also, strictly semi-stable locus is preserved by alpha. And uh, moreover, uh, uh, in some sense, this alpha is compatible with uh, uh, the morphism to, to the donald ullebeck compactification. So, so as, as, as you see, this, this diagram is commutative. So in particular, the, the fiber of, of this thing uh, are mapped by alpha isomorphically to the fiber of, of this thing. So as corollary, uh, corollary. <laughs> uh, if we restrict to Albanese fiber, then uh, again this uh, dualized Fourier Mukai transform in induces an isomorphism between these uh, singular spaces, uh, such, such in such a way that uh, the non-locally non free divisor is preserved, and also strictly semi-stable locus is preserved, and and then. Uh, yeah, 
And bec because of this uh, equality, so this, this isomorphism lifts to the resolution, uh, the level of resolution. So, I mean, it, it is not written here, but uh, this alpha induces isomorphism between the uh, corresponding over these resolutions, x tilde and x hat tilde here, maybe. Yeah. And moreover, if A is principally polarized, then I mean, this x and x hat can be identified by, by this uh, principal polarization. And then uh, alpha uh, induces a non-trivial involution on x, and accordingly on x tilde. So you, uh, yes, so here you may think this kind of thing is uh, kind of irrelevant to the, to the previous theorems, but uh, one, one obvious application is here. So that this, in theorem one, in, in, the, in the second item, we ha actually we have two cases. One case is L is two torsion but P is not. And the other case is L, L, P is two torsion but L is not. So we have these two, two cases. But uh, uh, as easily seen, this uh, uh, free Mukai functor uh, with kernel, Poincare line bundle, and the, these two factors are just, just interchanged. So if, if you prove this thing only for, say, uh, P, P is two torsion but L is not, in, in that case, if, if you have uh, this, this, then uh, the, the other case automatically follows from the uh, free Mukai argument. So in, in that sense, uh, uh, free Mukai argument is, I mean, uh, related to, to this theorem. And actually, in the course of proof, we, we, ha we have to use, use uh, in several places, I mean, in, in technically, we need this kind of uh, this free Mukai formalism. And what is the uh, proof of this theorem, this uh, construction of alpha? So this is completely classical. So we, first we check uh, WIT weak index theorem for, for the, the sieves uh, in, in, in sitting in the modular space M. And meaning that this, this, that the transform complex is just a coherent sieve sifted by one. So this, this and the, I mean, Mukai already uh, invented some method to, to prove this kind of thing. And uh, I mean, this is really classical. And then check the semi-stability of this transform. And again, this, this is, uh, I mean, case by case con consideration. Namely, the case of vector bundles and case of uh, non-locally free stable shifts and case of uh, semi-stable shifts. In, in every case, you can check the semi-stability of this uh, transform. So, so in that sense, this, this is a kind of a very elementary, elementary argument. OK, so then uh, let me move on to the proof of uh, theorem 1, namely the, the calculation of the fiber of this thing. So, so this is this was the no notation. So, let's take uh, uh, some sieve on, on the, the fiber B gamma. Then, as I explained, we have this fundamental sequence uh, with E double star and the Q of E, and this E double star is uh, extension of L and L inverse because e, now E is on, on on X. I mean the Albanese fiber. So these must be uh, inverse, must be inverse to each other. And by the very same reason, the associated cycle with uh, Q is of this form. So this way, starting from semi-stable sieve E, you get this, uh, these, these two sieves with topological information L and P plus some morphism Psi. So starting from E, you get these three data, um, data cons consistent of the, these three things. But uh, on, on, the, on, the, uh, on the way around, if we have these three things, then and, I, mean, I mean combined in a ni ni nice way like this, then we can reconstruct this sieve E as a kernel of this morphism. So that, uh, that's the... Uh, uh, GIT description of B gamma. So, for example, this psi, 
viewed as a vector space morphism at the, the support of QE. I mean, this, this is uh, determined as uh, vector space morphism only at the support of QE. So this, this thing lives in this vector space. Because we, we can we can fix some uh, isomorphism between C two and the uh, stock of this vector bundle and up. Yes, yes, but uh, I mean you only have to. Yeah. Yes, so you you need some compatibility with with psi, yeah. And uh, and yeah, so. If if p is two torsion, then uh, th this uh, this can have uh, non-trivial uh, O A module structure, but but th this kind of thing is parameterized by by these these two operators. So let v be a two-dimensional space, uh, which is which corresponds to this space, this vector space, and consider these these two operators, which satisfies I mean that these are commutative. And uh, this, sat this satisfies this nilpotent uh, condition. So what is this? So this corresponds to the action of uh, coordinate at uh, at the support of this point. So this this is the action of x x say. This is the action of y. So this and these are commutative, of course. And th these action, I mean, the, the, and uh, because of length of this this uh, Athenian shift, th these things uh, are satisfied. Satisfied uh, automatically, so uh, somehow this this corresponds to the uh, non-trivial. I mean, by the way, a and a one and a two can be zero. Then then this is trivial. But if if this is non-zero, then uh, this determines a non-trivial Athenian module structure here. So so this is that statement here. And uh, how how is this uh, extension? So here here comes the. Uh, Free Mukai transform. So if you if you transform the the extension epsilon by free Mukai transform, then this this become a, becomes a non the stru this structure becomes a, a no, I mean module structure on this uh, Athenian shift. And again, this is parameterized by this I mean nilpotent variety if if L is two torsion. So in that sense. Uh, the, the data <coughs> psi and q and epsilon is compiled in in this affine variety and n o, this is th these n n v l and n p v p uh important varieties like this and this this home space corresponds to the morphism psi and uh, the group of symmetry is uh, uh, obviously of this form i mean these a general linear group on, on these uh, uh, vector spaces corresponding to q of uh, q of e and, and and this thing and then we fix some character on, on this uh, group like this so thi basically this corresponds to the uh, determinant line bundle on, on, of, of uh, this e so, so by the by the theory of mod, I mean construction of, mod, of modular spaces, this should give some ample divisor on modular space, and you can easily see that this is the uh, only reasonable choice of uh, the character. Then one can easily I mean not easy, but one can prove that uh, this fiber B gamma is the uh, uh, projective quotient of this. Uh, affine variety by action of G gamma. And this is not nothing but the proj of uh, homogeneous uh, semi ring of semi invariance with character chi gamma to the power n. I mean, the, the, the sum of these things. So this is homogeneous ring. But if you map psi must be subjective, it counts as kind of stability? Right? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So you have to check stability. And, uh, and th this, this is somehow uh, down by case by case consideration and using numerical criteria of stability. B maybe there, there, sh there should be more sophisticated proof, but uh, I, I don't know. But anyway, I, I can prove 
using this numerical criterion. Yes, so this, this theorem reduces the problem of the, the proof of theorem 1 to the calculation of this, this invariant ring here. So basically, I want to calculate this invariant ring. So how can we do that? So let's take the, 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 the most difficult case, uh, namely the case where both of L and 2 are 2 torsion. Then, uh, I mean, if L is not 2 torsion, then this, this, this disappears and the group is just the symmetry of this thing. But uh, I mean, so in, the, in that sense, this, this is the most uh, complicated case. So this is the idea. Uh, this is our affine variety and take uh, Ele an element of, I mean, coordinate of uh, of this affine variety, and I mean the and the group was uh, GL product of GL VL and GL VP, and these groups acts on 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 a, on a standard way because, uh, namely, by a joint action here and here, and left multiplication on VL from here and the right multiplication of VP from, from here. So this is kind of a uh, standard situation in classical uh, invariant theory. Then uh, symbolic method in classical invariant theory uh, told us that uh, the invariance of, of, of this invariant theory is given by some fundamental invariants and all the possible uh, contraction of uh, the tensors appear, appear here. So s something like this. So we can contract the, uh, I mean, take product of A1 and vector V1. Then, I mean, this is again uh, uh, compatible with the uh, action of uh, GLVL and GLVP and so on. So. So you can produce many invariants by contracting the, these uh, operators and the vectors. And actually, symbolic method give no bound. Namely, you, you, can, you can take any, I mean, as much as operators here, a1, 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 a2, a2 a, v1, something like this. But uh, so, so a priori, the generator of uh, uh, given by symbolic method is uh, quite infinite, really infinite. But in our case, our operators in A1 and A2, for example, this is uh, uh, nilpotent. So A1 squared is already zero, and A1 times A2 is zero. So the 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 the, the invariant below this line is automatically zero by by that uh, relation. So from from the new potential of these uh, uh, operators, we, we get I mean we we get a finite set of generators from the beginnings. So this is good thing for the for the for these operators. Yeah, and here we are considering only the action of GLDP, and then afterwards we we take uh, invariant by GLVL. So so these are invariant of on under the action of this group. And then uh, what is the action of uh, GL, VL on, on these things? So the, by easy calculation, it, you, can, you can see that the, this thing is already GL, VL semi-invariant. And the other things, uh, on the other things, um, GL, VL acts on the adjoint action on the, these matrices. Then again, by symbolic method, you can you can make a list of generators like this. So th this time everything is uh, uh, matrices, and uh, 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 fundamental invariant is the trace. So so these are contraction of uh, uh, the tensors. <coughs> so 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 this zeta zero to zeta four. This, these five invariants generate the the, the ring of semi invariants. And then, uh, as we fix the character, we have to 
uh, calculate the weight of uh, character, I mean, weight with re respect to the, to the determinant map. But, uh, I mean, by easy calculation, this, this is, for, for every zeta, it is the same thing as uh, psi gamma, a uh, chi gamma, I mean. Yes, so, so that, that means uh, these are the uh, generators of, of the homogeneous semi-invariant ring uh, that, that we want, wanted to calculate. And the remaining thing is to calculate the relations between them but, but and this is really uh, non-trivial. I mean, the invariant in the yeah, and uh, this is really hard uh, calculation, I guess. And because I mean, these invariants may have uh, relation from the beginning, and moreover, we have uh, relations. I mean, near potency relations in on these uh, operators. So we have a lot bunch of uh, relations, but but yeah, but this kind of thing can be sometimes can be uh, calculated by computer, and it is uh, uh, it is shown by computer that uh, this this quadratic equation is the uh, only relation between these uh, these five invariants. That means uh, the the homogeneous invariant thing that we are interested in is is of this form, and th this is homogeneous ring. And that means the 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 B gamma, which is proj of this ring, is just the quadratic cone in P4. Can you try to estimate the dimension of this a priori, and then have this relation, and then there's no more dimension arguments of this? Yeah, maybe, maybe there there, sh there there can be some um, sophisticated <laughs> method to calculate, but uh, I don't know. It, it, I, I think it should be kind of. Difficult to determine the relations. Is this relation is this kind of clear a priori? Or this is this relation exists. Ah, yeah, maybe so. Yes, maybe. Yeah. Know, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah maybe, maybe finding this relation is. It, yeah. So the question is, can you estimate the dimension? So clear. I mean, it's, it's yeah. Yeah. Maybe you have lower bound or upper bound, I don't know. Yeah. Yes. And I must mention that I, I run this kind of uh, calculation from Manfred sitting here. So, yeah. Thank you, Manfred. <laughs> and then I, I, I'm going to uh, explain about the uh, application to this theorem. Barrasian geometry of uh, Ectilda. So, as I explained, I, w I want to determine the fiber of this composition of pi and psi, I, I mean phi. <coughs> so, for that purpose, I, I, I want to calculate the blow up by this idea of B, B gamma. Yes, so, so this is the uh, setting. So as I explained, this is on, uh, this is simply the blowing up along sem strictly semi-stable sheaves, and uh, and B gamma as before. Then uh, here comes next theorem. So we consider the scheme theoretic intersection here, and then if neither L or P is two torsion, then this is just reduced to points this intersection. And otherwise, this is just one point with the scheme structure that the square of the ma maximal idea. So th this is kind of, uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Not so, uh, self-explaining, but uh, this is really important in the, in the sequel. Because, because well, two cases here, not three cases. Right? Yes. What do you mean? I mean, you used to have three cases. Neither is two torsion is that one is. Yes, the, the on the on the remaining cases, both in the both two cases, we have this. Yeah. And by by this equality, the blow up B gamma of B by by this subscheme is just isomorphic to the blow up of reduced point here. 
So it, yeah, imagine that if J, this, this idea corresponding to this intersection have a more exotic non-trivial scheme structure, then uh, the Brona priority can be very singular and, uh, and it can be out of control. But in this case, th this is just one point pro up for B gamma, and B gamma, B gamma was, has a kind of uh, nice description so that we can study the blow up of this thing. And uh, the theory, I mean, proof of this theorem itself is not so uh, trivial, and we have to use some deformation theory, but uh, I will omit this part. So, so s admitting this theorem, let me proof uh, theorem 2. Yes, so the first observation is that the relative cone of curves of X tilde over uh, Donaldson Uhlenberg compacti compactification is just the union, in some sense, union of uh, the fiber of the morphism phi. Yeah, because th this, this thing already have e every information about the fiber of this morphism. So I want to calculate this NE bar of P tilde gamma uh, by by case by case calculation. And for, for that purpose, we fix the notation. So this E, uh, maybe I, I write this before sigma tilde, but this is the uh, exceptional divisor of Ograde resolution. And delta the, is the, the general, general fiber of this thing. Be, of, of course, this is P1 and beta to be the general fiber of composition from the strict transform B to the, uh, to the image in, in Donaldson compactification. And these two numerical class uh, spans the relative vector space of uh, uh, numerical one cycles of X tilde over X du. And if neither L nor P is two torsion, then uh, B gamma is P1, and the center was uh, just uh, reduced to point, so nothing happened. So B gamma tilde is again uh, P1, but th this is uh, just uh, the, 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 the cycle beta, the fiber of this thing. So this is kind of definition. And uh, the second, so from here, some non-trivial thing happens. So exactly one of L nor P, uh, or P is two torsion, then uh, the B gamma was P2. So the blown up variety B gamma tilde is just F, F1. Yes. And this have uh, minus one curve. I mean, the, the cone of curve of this variety is uh, spanned by uh, the negative curve and the ruling of this P1 bundle structure here. But uh, it is, uh, I mean, not, not so difficult to check the, these numerical equivalents. Namely, the, this minus one curve is, uh, prop, I mean, numerically equivalent to, the, to, to delta here, and the ruling is uh, numerically equivalent to, to this beta, general fiber of this thing. And here, I, I, we, we have to use Perego's numerical calculation of this, this uh, B tilde. So B tilde can be written as a Q divisor of this form. So is, you, if you apply this formula, you can, and this is easy exercise to, to prove this numerical equivalence. Then the last case is the uh, L and P. Both of L and P are two torsion. And the, in this case, uh, B, beta gamma, uh, B gamma was a uh, quadric cone in, in P4. This is mis misprint this P4. Then, uh, if and uh, actually, uh, we, ca we can show that the, the center, I mean sigma, uh, the intersection with sigma is the vertex of this cone. So, B gamma t uh, tilde also has a p one bundle structure of a quadric, and as as uh, in the second case, we can easily show that the ruling of this p one bundle is numerically equivalent to beta here. And yeah. the line, lines of the, the exceptional divisor of this blow up, I mean, the, the exceptional divisor is this thing, but the both of the, the, the ruling is numerically equivalent to delta. So this proves 
this equation, equality, B, namely the uh, cone of curves over X, of X tilde over Donaldson Ullenbeck compactification is spanned as, as a convex cone spanned by delta and beta. Yes, and then the, the theorem 2 immediately falls from Confirm because uh, this Ogradi's resolution, I mean, can be Ogradi's resolution can be seen as a contraction from X tilde, and this is the uh, uh, log extremal contraction of uh, delta, the ray here. And this this theorem and the concerns uh, con contraction theorem says that uh, we have another uh, contraction, which is the contraction of this this curve beta, beta, but uh, this beta tilde is, uh, I mean, covered by the class of beta. And by, by this, this explicit calculation of uh, the blow up B gamma tilde, I mean, every, I mean, every fiber of the contraction of beta is just P1, which is numerically equivalent to beta. So that proves the, uh, the, the second assertion here. And the remaining part is uh, automatic. Okay, so this is the story for six-dimensional example. And you may think that uh, the same game, we can play the same game for 10-dimensional example. And that is true in some sense. So, so let's switch to the case of K3 surface with, with, with uh, this uh, setting as first I, I indicated. And we, we also consider the morphism to Donaldson and the compactification. Then the exceptional divisor is again the locus of non locally free sieves. And this time the the image I mean center of this contraction is symmetric force, symmetric product of S. So we, we can stratify this thing according to the to the partition type of four. And according to partition type, we, we have uh, different fibers. So the easiest case is P1, and the second, P2. The, and the this, this case, it is uh, quadric cone. So, so we, up to here, we have the, the same kind of, uh, kind of very nice varieties. And but uh, the, the deeper stratum, on the deeper stratum, we have more complicated things. So if it is uh, of type 1, 3, then uh, the fiber is isomorphic to Podrick of rank 2 in P4. So, so this degenerates to this thing. And uh, yeah, this is the image of this, uh, I mean, this is the scroll, which is the image of this P1 bundle. And then uh, the, the, the most, on, over the most singular stratum, we have uh, much more, but I mean, worse uh, variety. That is uh, some irreducible divisor in, in this uh, uh, singular scroll in P9. And if, if you if we uh, take strict transform of this uh, uh, divisor B gamma inside here to, to the to the bundle resolution bundle here. And then, then this is topologically locally trivial family of quadric hypersurface of rank two. So this 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 is nothing but the variety appeared here. So in this case, the, everything is uh, is a fam in some sense a family of uh, singular variety here. I, I mean, installed in, in in such a such a strange way. And and then if we want to decide the. Uh, Birational geometry of m tilde over m du, uh, as before, we want to calculate blow up of these things. But in, in th these last two cases, I, I tried to calculate uh, the, the, the ideal of this scheme theoretic intersection, but this is, unfortunately, this is very singular. And um, yeah, still I, I, I can calculate the blow up of this thing, but. Uh, <coughs> For example, in the last case, uh, I mean, blown up variety have two components, meaning that this, this thing uh, have embedded component. 
So th th this is quite hard for me to, to, to really understand the geometry of uh, the Brown variety. So uh, for the time being, I cannot, I, 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 I'm not successful to, to do this thing. Okay, so this is all. Thank you.